So to begin with, here I have my rough sketch ready with me. So whenever I start my line art, I always first fill up the uh, drawing element with some sort of color. Now the reason why I do this is to kind of separate the main drawing with the background. Now you don't really have to do it. You can skip this step. You don't really need this, but it kind of helps me in creating the perfect line art from my, for my drawing. So yeah, that's my first step really. Now here I'm just going to show you some of the best brushes you can use for outlining. So the first one is script from Calligraphy Brush Set. When you put much pressure onto the screen, it's going to be pretty thick and pretty thin when you put less pressure. The next one is monoline. Now monoline is pretty consistent with it with its thickness so no matter what pressure you're putting it's going to be pretty consistent with the thickness of it. The other brush is from Inking Brush Set and this one is quite similar to Script but it's overall it's quite on the thinner side as compared to Script but when you put more pressure it's going to be thicker and it's going to be thinner when you put less pressure. And the next one is quite similar as well, which is gel pen. And you guys can just go ahead and try all of these and decide for yourself which one you like. But I'm going to be using this one in this video as, uh, you know, I want some sort of thickness and thinness at the same time in my line art. So when I put less pressure, it's pretty thin. When I put more pressure, it's pretty thick. And for the settings, I enabled streamline up to the max. So that's the only setting that I did and I decreased the stabilization uh, to the lowest number or percentage because I didn't need that. So for the settings, go ahead and keep the streamline up to the max. Now this kind of brush is really good when you have a lot of detailing going on in your artwork and you don't really want a consistent sort of line art so if you want but if you want a consistent sort of line art you can just go ahead and choose monoline it gives more of a cartoonish effect in my eyes and when i use the brush that i'm using right here is really good for if you have a lot of detailing going on in your artwork as you can see some of the detailing on the snake the lines of that detail is quite thinner as compared to the other ones so that is the reason why I chose this brush now you don't really have to be good with um, strokes so don't aim for you know lining the whole artwork in one go you can just do it in parts and later on what you can do is you can join the lines together now I will show you what I'm talking about right here just in a minute. As you guys can see here, I'm joining these two lines together by zooming in and it looks good. It doesn't look as if I've done it separately or it doesn't look bad. So you don't really have to, you know, do it in one go. That's going to be pretty stressful, especially if your artwork or the element that you have on the canvas is quite big so it's gonna be kind of difficult to do it in just one go so that's how I do it don't worry about you know oh my god I have to do it in the one go and stuff like that you can always go ahead and join these lines together by just zooming in and making sure the size or the pressure that you're putting onto the screen is similar to the already drawn lines i hope this is making sense i'm trying my best to explain it so that's what i did for the outer part of the snake now i'm just going to be going ahead and add details or add line art to the details of the snake as well so for the detail of the patches kind of thing on the snake i'm going to go ahead and put uh, a lot of pressure under the screen because i want the line art to be thicker on those patches so that's what I'm doing here. So really just depends on the kind of artwork that you're creating and on the kind of details that your artwork has. And you can just go ahead and decide, okay, which part is gonna have a thinner line art and which part is gonna have thicker line art. And the combination of both looks really good. That is the reason why I chose this brush because I didn't wanna go back and forth uh, with the brushes and also when you are using different brushes for the line art you know the artwork might end up looking inconsistent so as you guys can see even with different sort of thickness with the lines the line art looks pretty good already 
so hence the reason why I chose this brush you can go ahead and try every other brush that I showed you guys initially and yeah now I am adding other details as well I kind of gave the snake eyelashes as well I know there's no such thing as eyelashes on the snake but I just wanted it to look different and I'm also going to be coloring it in a very different way so if you follow me on Instagram I will post it really really soon other than that you know I am just adding lines to the thinner details now and yeah it's really easy you don't have to be perfect with um, longer strokes or stuff like that don't stress yourself out with that do it little by little and um, just join the lines later on just zoom in and join the lines is not that hard at all and it's really really easy you guys again if you want the lines to be consistent go ahead and use monoline monoline is perfect for um, a consistent sort of line art okay so yeah again just go ahead and try all the brushes and I guess I explained everything here. It's really easy to create a perfect line art. If you're somebody who's new to digital art and you're getting used to how, with the brush strokes, then you might want to first go ahead and practice creating random brush strokes to just, just to become more confident with the brush, with the pen and using a tablet for artwork. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and found this helpful if you did. Give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel support my channel you know it really does motivates me to create more free content and also do not forget to follow me on instagram also if you do create something out of any of my tutorials then tag me on instagram i would love to see your final results other than that i will see you guys in my next video